when I discovered that there is a new video by TensorFlow on YouTube, on the YouTube channel, explaining Jack by, Tens, by Google by TensorFlow. And I think it is so nice that I want to just show you two slides of this video. Have a look at it and you will understand Jax immediately. And here we go, Jax in one minute explained. At first, on the left hand side, we have here a neural network in the basic structure in NumPy. We import NumPy as NP, we define some prediction function where we have a feed forward network, where we perform some dot operation and then some activation functions like the Tango Superbolicus. We define a loss function where we return the difference between the predictions and the target values. Same code in JAX. We import JAX.NumPy as NP. We import from JAX the gradient function, the map function, and the just-in-time compilation. We have our same predict, but we can now define the gradient of the loss function if we want to have a gradient function of our a feed forward neural network, we can have this. And if we have, if you want to fuse the operation for just just in time compilation, we have JIT on gradient of MSE loss. Now, the very nice thing is if you have a batch of data, if you have a lot of data, you can apply it simply by vectorizing all the different data. So you apply the same code to a lot of batches. And of course, you have the compiler function under vectorization mapping of the gradient function of your loss function. This is it, yippee. And if you go crazy and you say, hey, I have a TPU cluster and I want to have now a parallelization that is done automatically, you have the PMAP, the parallelization mapping, where when you compile your parallelization on the gradient on the MSA loss function, this is just done in one line and you have a parallelization of a vectorization of a gradient structure in a neural network. And this is all done for you, perf performed automatically by JAX. And this is one of the reasons why people love JAX, either for differentiable physical models, for robotics, for, I don't know, all the things you can think about from protein foldings to whatever, but we will use JAX, as I told you, for the GNN, for the graph neural networks, learning and training. Thank you, and I see you in the next one.